Good morning. Welcome everybody for a presentation on categories. I am Nana. I will be facilitating the session. If you have any queries, you can write to me at apps.nana at gmail.com. I hope this session will help you in uh, uh, getting some useful uh, tips in configuring categories for your clients. Here I have taken an example of uh, six items in your inventory and then they have been classified into four various categories. Later on what happens, we have uh, divided them into uh, segments and categories. This is the description. You just go through it, it will be self-explanatory. The categories have been classified into two segments, state and type with values. The transactable category codes have been defined and they were populated into the system. This is one way of configuring the custom category sets. We will now see a live demonstration of how to configure the categories and then use them in various applications. This demonstration will start from scratch. First we will go to this navigation. Query on inventory application and item categories flux field title. Go to structures item categories. Click on the segments. Two segments family and class have been defined here. The value set item categories for the segment family has got a validation type independent and its character with uppercase. Whereas the value set item class category for segment class is, has got a validation type dependent and then it is also character with uppercase. Now we will have a look at the values populated for these two segments. Go to values, click on find for our segment family for our structure item categories. It has got lot of values, you insert our new value over here. Enter fam1 in small letters and tab it out, it will automatically get converted into caps as per the format. Click on independent segment family and then click on the torch light. Choose class as the segment and fam1 as the independent value, it gets converted to capitals and then click on the find. Your default value of miscellaneous gets added over here, add CL1 and CL2. Now we have two CCIDs, fam1.cl1 and fam1.cl2 but both of them are not transactable. Close and compile the value sets. Go to category sets under this navigation in setup. Query for inv.items. Try to insert fam1.cl1. The system prompts an error that this fam1.cl1 is not an existing combination. Go to category codes under setup. Press new. Insert the entries for our structure and commit. Again go back to category sets and query. Under inv.items, uh, click on assign button. For the first item, try to change the assignments to fam1.cl1. The system says error. It's uh, the this category set category combination is not valid. Now try to insert our category fam1.cl1 in the list of categories, and it will accept now. Now click on the assign button and then try to change the category of 1040 oil to fam1.cl1. Transaction complete. Now it has accepted. Insert fam1.cl2 also under category codes in setup. It's done. When you create a new item and assign it to the functional area inventory, it gets allocated or assigned to the default category new dot miscellaneous. Test cat one is defined without applying any templates. Enable the item defining attribute inventory item for the functional area. Go to tools categories. The item has been assigned to the default category set inv dot items for the functional area inventory with the category new dot miscellaneous. Now change the default category to fam one dot cl one. Create a new item test underscore cat2 and assign it to the functional area inventory. Now you can see the default category assignment as fam1.cl1. inv.items is the default category set for the functional area inventory. Inventory.items, purchasing, inventory, enterprise asset management, contracts and product are the various default category sets used by the system. There are around 11 functional areas and many of them are using the common inv.items as a category default category sets. Now we will see the various default category sets, default category code combinations are assigned when the item is assigned to various functional areas. Item is assigned to inventory functional area and its DCS, DCC combination is enabled. We have now opened the purchasing area and the second entry is there. Asset item type is rebuildable and the enterprise asset management EAM, DCS, DCC combination is enabled. On making the bomb item type product family, the fourth entry has got entered. As long as the item is assigned to the particular functional area, it is not possible for us to delete the DCS-DCC combination. I have removed the item from all the functional areas, but all the uh, category code category, all the DCS-DCC combinations remain except for the product family. That means the assignments are automatic, whereas unassignments are manual. That means we have to manually go and then delete these assignments. 
Now all the assignments are manually removed. This is the category assignments for service contracts. Apart from the default category sets, we can create our own category sets. Now we have created one category set controlled at mass level and the other controlled at org level. We will now assign both our categories to another item for the functional area along with the functional area inventory. These assignments are done at item master level. Now assign the item to M1. Go to org attributes. Here you can see on assignment the category set control at master level is carried to M1 whereas the category set which is control at org level is not carried to M1. But all default category sets irrespective of the control levels whether it is org or master will definitely be carried to the child organizations. This indicates that user level category sets controlled at org level should not be assigned at master items window. Now we have an item which is enabled for two functional areas along with two user defined category sets. We will now copy that item to a new item. We can now observe that the user defined category sets irrespective of whether it is master or org will not be carried to the new items during copy. Now I change the assignments from fam1.cl1 to computer.custom. I will now copy this to a new item with our new assignment. That computer.custom will not be carried to the new item. Instead, the default category code fam1.cl1 will be assigned during item copy. Items and categories exhibit a many-to-many -many relationship. If you want to assign multiple categories to the same item, you have to go to either master items or org items. If you want one category to be assigned to many items, you have to go to this navigation. An item is defined in the master with fam1.cl1. Later, the assignment at m1 has been changed to fam1.cl2. You change the organization to v1 and then under setup category sets, you can see the fam1.cl1 assignment here. Whereas when you change the organization to m1, you can see the fam1.cl2 assignment. Now a change of the category at m1 cannot be visualized at master item. The master item still shows the old category because it has been made at the org level. The org level will show the correct assignments. For a default category set assigned to a functional area, this allow multiple item category assignments cannot be set. It is recommended to enforce list of valid categories for all the default category sets. We will now see the use of categories in purchasing. Purchasing has got a default category set called purchasing and the flux field structure is PO item category. PO item category has got two segments item category and commodity. For the item category segment insert the value fruits. For fruits enter apples and oranges under commodity. Insert both the CCIDs under category codes in setup. Insert fruit.apples and fruit.oranges in category set purchasing. Create a new item apples and then change the miscellaneous dot miscellaneous to fruits dot apples. It's done. Similarly create oranges with fruit dot oranges. Create a purchase requisition for apples and oranges with a price of 2 and 1 to, with a document total of 3500. This document gets approved because this manager approval group has got a limitation only or rather it has got filters only for document total and account range which are well within the limits of 25000. The document got approved for apples and oranges totaling 3500 US dollars. Now add two more objects for item categories. There is apples restricted to 3000 US dollars and oranges restricted to 2000 US dollars apart from the total document value of 25000 US dollars. That means if apples exceed 3000 the document cannot be approved even though we have a limit of 25000. Create one more requisition with the price or the total amount of the apples just exceeding the limit. Even though the manager approval group has got a document total and account range approving a limit of $25,000. It was restricted by item category range for $3,000 for fruits.apples. That is the reason that apples which is accounting for a 3001 quantity was unable to <coughs> get approved by the owner. So the document has gone into in-process state. So this is one example of the categories being applied in purchasing. I thank all of you for viewing this presentation. If you have any clarifications, please write to, write to apps.nana.gmail.com. Thank you.